Yes. You get to update us. Uh, shit. All right. Last time we ate food, we found out uh, that our, there are parasites inside of the cannibal, uh, cannibal, um, what are oh, cannibal goblins? And that's all I can recall, honestly. <laughs> wow, you're missing a lot of expedition. Exposition. Excuse me. Um, you guys, last time we left our heroes, the gamers. Um, who we left off with. Uh, them talking to Ein Zulgaon, uh finding out through the um, mirror of remote viewing uh, that there are other players that have found themselves to the new world, uh, part of a legendary um, guild known as the Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, these are unique titles that only one per person can obtain a certain title through a certain in-game um, you also find out, uh, that there are indeed two different Valifs. Um, one seems to have a spreading condition, and the other also seems to have a spreading condition. And one of the g original Game Masters of Yggdrasil is here in the New World, looking to exploit the world's resources. Um, that's where we, uh left the session, sort of. Um, first off, let me get this out of the way. Uh, Fritz. Yeah. Um, you've noticed that every hour that you have been spending inside of the, this village, your powers feel weird. And it's starting to feel weird, weirder every hour that passes by. I feel weird. And it's getting weirder. It starts vibrating. <laughs> that doesn't explain too much. Like a good weird or a, a neutral weird. Your 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 powers feel off. Like they they don't feel quite right. You, the village is very close to the forest, and it's almost inside the forest, honestly. And like Brits, you can feel the power of nature, like all around you. And the fact that your powers seem to feel off is not a good thing. Ah. Like, usually your powers feel off in, like, cities and towns where there's not much nature. But this is, like, a country village in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. Just... Contemplating keeping the forest going on. Just don't Wait. lose your powers before we fight. What did you say, Fluffy? What, what were you doing? My character's like, maybe there's something in the forest. Fucking with something. Uh. Do you look towards the forest? Yes. Well, you do I'm see a, a large... Plume of smoke? Who the fuck is burning the forest? Wait, what? <laughs> the, the forest is burning? The forest is burning. Uh, where? Right now? And Okay, wait. How do you know this? You there not is see a the large plume of, smoke? plume of smoke. Hey, I have like nine passive perception. Okay. Uh. No, my character just points out, it's like, you don't see the smoke? <laughs> uh, oh. Fluffy, you notice that as you, uh, like, extend your arm... To point at it, you notice that your hand is quickly turning into your slime form. Yeah, I don't mind being in slime form right now. I go invest. Wait, no, that's a bad thing, Fluffy. Why? It means you can't change. Meaning you are actually are losing your powers like I lost mine. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe not. Right now there's a forest fire going on. My character wants to stop it. I also think that certain gods would appreciate it if we stopped the fire. Yeah. Is I'm still around? Uh, by this time, he is done talking. He does see the fire, and he you hear him say, Lie! Starts levitating off the ground, and he inspects the fire from a flight perspective. I would kind of join him. Uh, you see um, what looks to be a very obvious, intentional wildfire that has been started like it's like several trees were cut down and piled on top of each other next to other trees and then set ablaze is there you see going towards it fritz bugger do you think there's a spirit in there that is affecting nature hmm not Maybe. likely i'm using some magic sense and there is practically no magic that was used in order to make this fire Yes, I understand that, but I'm thinking Mother Nature, Dryads, or anything in the area. Hmm. He's very sensitive. I don't sense anything. I'm just searching for magic. Old. Detect magic. 
Maximize. Holds out his hand. A ring on his finger uh, shines, and he is all of a sudden just bends over. I take there is something there. Even though this fire was set by normal torches, the god of this forest is pissed. Nope. You see Fritz, I'm headed towards that way, by the way. Uh, I'm lorping up a wall and going out there. Uh, excuse me, I will- Of course. Lie down to Fritz. Fritz, hold on. We need to prepare. You can't just run in there. We still have to protect this for people. It will definitely help the forest. You gotta put the fire out. Yes, but how? I don't have any spells for that. My character goes, I have create water. I can create rain. That should do the trick. Or at least slow That's it down. At least at the higher level cast with a, probably, you know, a little help from another thing, too. You're going to maximize it or something? Not maximize it, but uh, what's the intermediate one? I forget what it's called. Middle. Uh huh. It, yeah. Yeah. It's middle. basically middle. middle your magic. Is. Okay. If I grab you, we'll fly over there. You could do it real quick. Yeah, uh, I might burn you a little bit. Oh right, you're. <sighs> so you just my character's still going towards that direction. He has I'm not. not too, I'm not afraid of fire getting burned or anything like that. I can hold you up high, and then we can run through. Well. He's <sighs> acidic. Did I see the enemies over there? No, there are no enemies currently in the vicinity. I feel like this is a trap. I don't want to leave the village. Uh, Maybe. If we is this a muzzle solution? <sighs> okay, so since you guys are taking up time, I'm going to set a timer. You uh, have five minutes to decide. I'm already going. He's already going. <laughs> I'm just debating. You can do it. Schlarp, 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 are we all schlarp. going? or? I think I'm going to stay behind because I don't think I can help in this situation. Okay, judging from the fact that you're busy talking, it's already been 30 seconds. Okay, so, uh, by this time you're about halfway there, Fluffy. Alright. You now have the intelligence of a normal slime. Oh, no. Oh, so that means it's a one. Gotcha. Oh. That is very low. Too low. <sighs> uh, can I get a, uh, wisdom saving throw from... You, Fritz. Is I'm saving throw? Right. Yes. Oh. That's 13. It was. I saw a one coming. At least it's better. Hey, you know it's bad that I have a plus nine to it, too. That is true. Have any water set up? Oh my gosh. Um, Fritz, you are abruptly. Your mind is racked with a voice. It is an. Pants. It's a feminine voice. Uh, it seems to echo in all sorts of voices in your head. Uh, you hear the words disgusting creature, abomination, um, intruder, um, and one particular word is repeating over and over in your head is thief over and over and over again. My character continues going to the for through the forest, even though I'm probably a little on the more stupid side now, but my character, with whatever's left in my intelligence, I go, I'm no thief. I just keep going. Uh, you do not currently have the intelligence to say, I am no thief. You can only say, I know thief. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I know thief. <laughs> you continue going. Another 30 seconds um, have passed by now. Dragon, do you have one of your creatures that create water, or is it only destruction? Let me, let me, let me double check. I uh, don't think yeah. so. I don't know what's going on with Fritz. Uh, it's bloody. Can they, can you, can any of them make water at all? Is that something that is in their power? You don't know. You would have to try. Okay. Uh, hmm. Could I make like a, a check or something to my rough estimate of what one would be the best? Sure. Okay. Thank you. You're so, so kind. <laughs> oh, the uh, oh, Silence. Okay, so Arcana. Interestingly enough, it's uh the one called Alcas. Ah, uh, I, I would have not guessed that. <laughs> it would. It can cast ice type magic. I'll, I'll, I'll get him out, my little man. Put him in my hands. Starts buzzing very uh, a little bit, vibrates a little, and then nuzzles against you. Mm -mm. How are, how are you? How are you doing, my little man? There's a little task I need you to do. It beeps. Do you think you could? I'm gonna. I'm gonna point. I'm gonna like turn around. Point at the fire. Point at it. I'm gonna be like, can you? Can you? It's get already gone. Oh. Oh shit. 
Uh, I'm going to follow behind, make sure it doesn't freeze over Fritz. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm also gonna come. I guess I'm following too. Uh, Synth would be right back. See yeah, I guess. I mean, I could carry you over there if you want. Nah, Fluffy, nah. since you have the intelligence of a slime, you now have the speed of a normal slime. Oh. <laughs> As time goes by, so you're barely moving, and all of a sudden you just see a red uh, elemental just <laughs> pass by you. Takes a U-turn, comes back, looks at you. Uh, Miss Silence, I'm going to have to make a intelligence tech for Ruby. Okie dokie. Oh, it's called Ruby. No, no, no its color is Ruby. Its yeah. name is Alcas. Okay, Alcas. Alcas. Um. Yeah. So basically, I have to. I'm just calling it Ruby because it's colored Ruby. Oh, so oh, that guy—that's the one. I've okay. Been uh, despite uh, your your um smaller ish form, does recognize you. Turns back towards the fire and continues. Uh, I don't <laughs> see the attack roll. Oh, that's because I put it to myself. Oh, okay. I was like, that's something wrong. With it's this? for suspense purposes. <laughs> Alright, I was like, uh... Oh. <sighs> Starting to get my energy back, but it's barely there. Oh, uh, uh. Sorry. That's uh, yeah, fine. Uh, silence in Brozu, you, uh, you both managed to catch up, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Eldrick, you both, uh, you all managed to catch up to poor Fritz, who is just slurping along very oh slowly. Does he still look, like, toxic -y? He is making a little rut in the earth Ooh. as he slurps along. Yeah, Ooh. very toxic. Hey, 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 Fritz, you, why are you so small, buddy? Uh, Fritz, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom check for me. Wisdom check? Yes. Oh, man. Oh, so much better. I'm far more wise than I am intelligent. <laughs> Hold the phone. Oh no, the pages. Twenty. So it's not right. uh, oh, okay. Uh, Fritz. Uh, with your wisdom check, you are able to communicate them with very broken English. That is it. <laughs> not good. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, how far until he gets to set spot? Uh, right now he's a good, still thirty feet away from it. Just where I need to be then. It's within 30 feet, motherfucker. <laughs> As my uh, character tries to cast a spell. Oh, no. You see that uh, little Ruby is busy casting I little snow on on the fires as she's just it's just minding its own business, just casting the casting the little powder snow. Is it doing any good? Well, it's a very small like cone, so it's it's gradually doing its job. Okay. It's just taking a bit. Hey, Fluffy, uh, create or destroy water. Okay, I can you, attempt, at level. <laughs> you attempt to cast a spell, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, so feel nice. the, you feel the magic within you is being forcefully blocked, and you continue to hear the voices in your head continuing to call thief, invader, just all these voices like in your head. All right. Bloody. My character's trying to cast. Quick question. Yes. If I cast barrier at, you know, higher tier, can it bubble said fire and probably put it out? I wouldn't know. You would need to cast it. But uh, if you would willing me to give me an arcana check, maybe I could tell you. Okay. Arcana. Oh, I'm not bad at arcana. Okay. Oh, no. That's a natural one. Okay, time for a 1d100. No, okay. I hate this. 92. I believe that's good. Oh. Okay, you were casting Barrier. Yeah, I was going to do that. No. Higher level. Barrier, 92. Okay. Uh, as you attempt to uh, cast the Barrier, you try to cast it, and... As you extend your hand, all of a sudden, 
The barrier comes out, but it's not like you are familiar with it. It is a completely opaque black ball. Cannot see through it. Uh, is it like smothering out the smoke? It, it, engul it, like, it encases like a big chunk of the smoke, but you can't really tell what happened uh, with the fire or the smoke. Uh, I kind of turned to Fritz to see if he's feeling better or not. While well, you hear no thief, save from fire, let me do. I didn't understand a word that said, Fritz. Not towards you, technically, so, but I'm saying it out loud. Well, she has no idea. As you say this out loud, all of you start hearing, Intruder, thief, thief, intruder, thief, thief, intruder, abomination, intruder, abomination, thief. Uh, am I the only one getting uh, hate speech? I don't know what's going on right now. That's a very good way to put it. Yes, I am. Uh, maybe we should get out of here. No, apparently. By the way, uh... By the way, um, as you, um, as, uh, um, Rosu, can I get a perception check, please? Yeah. Oh, gosh, please, Barrier, don't do something freaky. <laughs> okay, that's 21. not bad. Uh, you see, this is not what you intended to cast. Mm-hmm. As the smoke is being pulled from all sides of the forest into the ball. And you see branches that have fallen down are being pulled into the ball. And you guys are inching ever so steadily towards the ball itself. Oh. Rosu, uh, you accidentally just cast black, black hole. hole. I um, slowly suck. turn to the group. Ah, I made a black uh, hole. You can create a black hole? Uh, what? Ooh, why? Okay. Oh, we got, now we really have to go. Uh, I could clip it off, but is the fire gone now? Not yet, but it's slowly getting eaten up by the black hole. Oh, slowly. And then all oh, of a sudden, it gets it's bigger. Kind of gas. With the black hole? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to close the black hole. Okay. Makes a little popping sound, and as it closes, as it gets smaller, the fire instantly gets sucked up... Uh, and as the black hole vanishes, all the fire is gone. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, good job. Uh, yes. It's still uh, smoking in areas. I totally meant to do out. that. Yay. You did it. Where's Algus? Oh, oh, you still see Fritz trying to cast the spell? Rosu, if my if my if Algus just got sucked up in that, I'm you are going to pay. I I I uh. Where's the little guy? Uh, as, as as the little guy, uh, you see the little ruby, uh, little summon. All of a sudden, just look at you. Very just turns around very slowly, looks at you. You see its little eye slits just narrow, glaring I, as at As it you. turns to me, I tear it away. I'm like, ah, oh, it's safe. Let's hit back. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, thank and you then all of a sudden it shrieks. Oh shit! Vines out of the forest, just grab it. <gasps> no! Ah. Uh, Rosu? I okay. need everyone to make dexterity saving throws. That wasn't me. <laughs> you still did create a, a black hole. That was that was definitely you. Yes, but I wasn't the one that grabbed your little guy. <laughs> okay, well, I'm still choosing to blame this on you. Oh my gosh. Give a warning next time. <laughs> uh, uh, Hildrick, you managed to pull yourself away from the vines before they catch you, but they are still coming at you at a full force. Oof. Uh, uh, okay. You are hearing new words. The nerve. You have invaded my forest. There wouldn't be much left of it if you didn't come here. Uh, I uh, did not. I actually. Unix just said that, right? Yes. Intelligence saving throw. Oh yeah, that's my forte. Can I use this time to do a panic signal to synth? Eleven. You you instantly are racked with a instant shout directly into your brain. You set this fire. You take twelve points of psychic damage, and you are frightened. Ow! Oh. Did I hear that? Uh, it was directly into his brain. Okay. So, you did not. But can I see, um, send a message to Sin saying we're being attacked? 
Rozu, yeah. with your nature, you do sense something divine is very upset. close by and very upset. Okay, was it the same directions as the vines? Yeah, and most of the anger you can sense is directed towards Fritz, not towards the fire. Ah, okay, um, hmm. I'll look around, I'm like, guys, can you just give me one moment? I might be able to stop Alcus this. has been taken. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, I, I'll, I'm blaming I'll, this on you. Resolve. I'll yell into no, the- No, it hasn't been taken. It's just restrained by- Oh, I thought he got, like, snatched. It is gone. Okay, I, never mind. <laughs> it was no, like it's a still horror by film. One, it's, it's still by one of the trees. It's okay. just being restrained against the tree by vines. Okay, I'm just looking at it, like, like longingly and pathetically. Uh, can I yell out, we are not the ones that did such things? Make a persuasion check. Uh, it's okay. Could be better. You hear, all of a sudden, as you hear hoofs come out of the forest tree line, and you see a, a woman, at least from what you can tell, come out of the tree line. It has the back half of what looks to be a, a white-tailed deer oh. and the upper half of a woman. Oh, I love that visual. Uh, she, uh, her, um, well, her upper lady parts are covered by, uh, fern leaves. Uh, she has, uh, what's, uh, who's familiar with, like, really familiar with, like, Pokemon? What's, oh, what's, oh what's that one deer Pokemon with the really big antlers from Stanlers? X? No, X. Oh, from X. Uh, like, the legendary. Oh, the legendary. The legendary? Yeah, it's the yeah. light blue one. Oh, Exernius. Yeah, that guy. She has antlers like that growing from her head. Wow. They're huge. Her entire, like, hair is covered in moss. Uh, but you do see, like, hints of, like, reddish coming down. Uh, she wields uh, what looks to be a staff completely made of um, a mahogany uh, wood. And she has this intense, like, anger in her face. I give a slight bow. She comes to a halt. You all see this woman. We need not mean to introduce it, but the force was in flames I had to put it out. My friend here points to Fluffy. He felt a great disturbance, so we came to check it out. I believe that you were trying to help. What I don't understand is why... A filthy slime has my blessings, has the ability of a druid. Why a disgusting creature like that has the abilities of a druid? I've sensed him for quite some time, but he's never stayed in one area long enough for me to confront him until now. Ah. Look to Fritz and wonder if he can talk. So, I will allow you to speak, slime, and you will explain to me why you have my blessing. And she reverts you back to your full size and intelligence. Back. My character kind of has to shake for a little bit just to be like, because, you know, you're going from like a one to back to a ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Fritz, say what you're going to say. I am no thief. I did not intend to steal power if that is the case. I may be blessed with your gifts, but I try to do my best with them. Nor, and I do believe in the balance. And for the most part, aren't slimes technically part of the ecosystem? Since they feed on, they're basically a bottom feeder? No. They weren't created by me. I find them disgusting. They only consume, they don't give back. I they leave nothing behind when they die. I slowly oh. raise my hand. Well, you guys know I plant plants and shit. <laughs> I'm like, in point to Fritz. He's our gardener. He does most of our gardening. The druids love him. He's been creating a garden in our keep. He really doesn't destroy much unless somebody attacks us. Or stuff needs cleaning. Yeah. I used to be able to clean, now I'm too acidic. Yeah, Dad. used to do great laundry. Come forth, slime. Did you say come forth, slime? Sorry, I didn't hear you yes. that well. Yes, she, she said come forth. I move forward. She grabs you by the head. Well. 
and you feel her like her power probe your mind. Uh, and my character now like, is trying to reach through all of your memories. You well, she's also going to see another memory from another world. <laughs> all this other shit. Do you allow this? Yes. Okay. You just see her standing there, grabbing Fritz's head. That they look like they're they're about to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> that Ew. explains it. You're not from this land, so you're a druid from a different land. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, I won't say that I'm a druid. Where we're from, we technically don't have these powers. It was something that was just given. My character answers honestly. And tell me, why shouldn't I just rob you of all your power right now? Hmm. Probably because I actually intend to do good with the power. I actually don't have any evil cause for it. She still has a hold of your head. And then all of a sudden, you're, you're and thinking... Uh, you're going to see my world of pollution, then? Of yes, where I come from? She does see that. She does see that. My but she also sees something else. And it comes to the forthright of your memory. Ooh. She sees the garden. Probably talking to the dryads and saving said dryad kid. She looks at you. My nerves are messed up today. My hand is shaking like crazy. Have you anyway. ate? Did you trigger no. Have I ate? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, are you eating today? Go get no, some food! Yeah, that is a worrying question. Yeah, you should never get just ask back. yourself that. <laughs> yeah. We could take a break. Yeah, get food. It's important, bro. Your health is more important. Um, the sun does I ate on some it. pretzels. It, if that's okay, all, that's... get something solid. Er. Yeah. Bread. Water too. Okay, we're going to take a 15 minute break because my players are insisting. Yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Self care! Oh my gosh. So I'm going through an experience here. Yeah. 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 I just, I, I'm having a little panic attack in my own head. Yeah. Well, this is surprisingly calm. <laughs> no. Even though while she's holding my brain, I'm like, <laughs> I just realized I use barrier, meaning my other barrier in the zone has popped. Oh my god. Meaning the slimes are in my barrier. <laughs> I mean, in my zone. No, no <laughs> my dresses. No. My book. They're going to eat it. <laughs> they're not hungry. Well, technically you didn't cast barrier though. You cast black hole. True. That is true. Maybe bloody would be nice and not pop the barrier. <laughs> we have to, I don't know, we have to bribe him. Be extra Did bad. someone say bloody needs to be mean? No. Uh oh. No. Bloody. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing, Synth. <sighs> uh, but do, 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 bloody do subscribe. The, the black hole popped my barrier inside my zone. What are you talking about? In my zone where I trapped the slimes when I recast barrier. You cast black hole, hole okay. not barrier. Good, good, good. <laughs> so uh -huh. yes, I, was, I was right. I was having a mini panic attack because they didn't want the you slimes to eat my inventory. To you attempted to cast barrier. That's why I asked for an arcana check. Unfortunately uh, for me, I didn't get to have fun with the slime potentially eating all your shit. Yep. Thank God. Because <laughs> that would have been hilarious for me. It would be funny, yes. But it would also be awful. <laughs> I'm having I'm having some some apple slices dipped in peanut butter. Okay, that's good. You get some protein and everything. Oh, that's delicious. I have to actually open my peanut butter, though. It has a lid. It's new peanut butter. It's chunky. Oh. I've always preferred chunky peanut butter to, to creamy. With the apple slices, I feel like that's, like, the best option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. always... I know it's preferred to be creamy when, when you have apple slices, but I like having the potential of having like a whole peanut just 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 inside my peanut butter. You're so you're so correct. I, I completely agree <laughs> with you. I only like the smooth on bread. One time I was eating peanut butter and I crunched down and I was like, oh this is a pleasant surprise. It wasn't a peanut, it was a cashew. I was like, how the hell did you get in here? What? What? I know, right? A peanut factory put a cashew in their peanuts. Blasphemy. It was weird. Huh. I got me something to drink and I got pudding. Well, we found out why your lack of energy and everything for the lack of food in your system. That makes sense. Have you been, like, drinking water and hydrating properly, too? Because that's also very important. I literally have, like, entire bottles of, like, 
bottled water next to Good. me that I, but they were flavored with like that flavoring stuff that you put in water. Oh, so I'm not like sure and stuff. that counts. No. No, it definitely still does. Is everyone else drinking? Because hydration is so important. Sweet tea. Mmm, delicious. Anyway. But go ahead, and eat your apple slices. <laughs> Did you bring enough to share with the class? No, let him eat all. He needs it. Yeah, he really does need this. It's true, but it, it's okay. We're just in his computer. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> he doesn't really have to share them. <laughs> just the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. The that counts. There we go. Oh, it's fine. Keep eating. Uh, oh. Bless you. Thank you. And here comes my dog. I'm okay. I, I know. No, no, I just responded because your your sneeze was so high pitch. I thought it was the dog whistle. Actually, that's kind of true. <laughs> Each time I sneeze, she comes running, checks on me, and then she huffs and turns away. She's like, you called? No? Bas Why? Basically. Okay, what I miss? Uh, he still eat apple slices. I sneeze. He's making fun of me. What? <laughs> we decided to go on a really quick break. Oh, cool. We okay. found out the reason why he was down with the energy is because he hasn't ate. Oh, right. Dinner like just started for me, so I was just getting my plate. Oh, go ahead. Mm, eat. Did you did you bring enough to share with the class? Oh no. Oh yeah, we got salmon. We had potatoes. Oh, um, yeah. There's some asparagus. Ooh. Let's play it around. In fact, I think I'm going to go get a second help. I'm getting hungry talking about it. Hold on. Go ahead. Pack. So remind me of something. What's the something? Before we went on break. Yes. You were trying to reason with this goddess of why um, Fritz should keep his powers. You said it was a force for good. Uh, she brought forth a memory of it, the garden. I need to know something for clarification. What okay. is in the garden? Uh, various amounts of flowers. There is some wi more wild stuff in there. I uh, need more specific. Like, what kind of flowers? What kind of wild thing? This is uh, extremely important. There's hanging moss, wild flowers. There's, um... I have, like, the, the type of flowers you can get at a store type thing. Like, daffodils and, you know... But I also have, like, some fruit-bearing trees and stuff, things that can actually provide. Well, they're still growing, mind you, but, yeah. Because my character actually took time to collect seeds. So, kind of like, like one of those walk-through gardens that you see in some places. Yes, and my character tends to take very good care of it. Once we get back from break. Also, I might have, like, a little area where there's some hanging moss that looks good, you know? Right. Once we get back from break, I'll see. Um, I'll have to make a check for her. And see where we go from there. My character gets rid of bugs. That might actually work against you. Oh, <laughs> well, that's only if they're trying to eat the some of my uh, stuff. But yeah, butterflies. It's some bugs, not all. Yeah, well, they're harmful to plants. Exactly, butterflies. Yeah, if you had cotton fields, you would get rid of uh, bull weevils because those motherfuckers eat. Uh, I mean peanuts. If you had a peanuts, you would get rid of bull weevils because they eat peanuts. I mean, not peanuts, but cotton. What? Where's my brain? Jesus. <sighs> All right, it's been fifteen. We're out. So she brings. Uh, who's here? Who's here? Hello, hello. Here. Sound off. You know I'm here. Rosu. Rosu. Who is you? Rosu. 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 Been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Wow, that usually gets her. Did she say she was going to go do something real quick? I don't know. Sorry, I was talking. Apparently, I had my mic on mute. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and food came in, so I had to grab Church's chicken. So, I'm going to make check right now since we're coming back from break. <gasps> you can also see that I uh, I managed to get a, a slime to be eaten by a fish as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this happens. Okay. 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 Uh so uh she looks at you very sternly as these memories are being pulled forth. And a very gentle smile. It's very small, very not evident. As she brings forth her other hand and attaches it to your head and pours a lot of her magic into you. Uh. Um, so I'm going to roll something public and 
Depending on what happens, will depend on what happens. Gonna be a 1d6. Natural 6. Woo. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, Fluffy. Yeah? You have achieved something I didn't think in this campaign would be possible. You attained both of your secrets. What? You attained an evolution of your race and of your class. Yo! Oh, so he helped me. How dare you? <laughs> Fluffy, you are now known as a nature slime. Nature slime? Yes, a nature slime. A slime, you are the first of your kind in this world. You help plants grow. Actually, there was also that time that I did make another little garden area, technically, whenever I uh, sacrificed. No, I'm talking about not with effort. Without spells, like you pass through an area and it can help plants grow. So instead oh. of by passing over it. Yeah, just by passing over it with your slime, it will help plants grow. All right. As well as your new classification is no longer considered just druid. You are known as guardian of the forest. Oh, wow. So he's like the hamster. But better. Not quite. <laughs> He's a little bit below the king. Uh, the king of the forest of time. Oh. So I'm like a were a were bear technically. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So now you, uh, uh so uh, let's get this over with since there will be probably combat. Ooh, you guys get to uh, hear in the near future. How bloody does that? Okay, let me uh get your information out right now. Okay, uh, as you guys see this happen, you see him going from a black slime to an intense emerald green. All sorts of colors of the forest are combined into one. Forest green, emerald green, a deep, deep moss green, all combined in a swirling constant slime that is just constantly moving and these colors are constantly shifting. You are even seeing evidence of like flower colors as well into this little fold in the very center of his being where his mind is. You see colors of red, yellow, white, purple, just all these colors that are constantly shifting. David, and yes, I'm making this difficult. Yeah, I was going to say, to draw. you but <laughs> I am It's ass, not really yes, drawing I... because his shape stays the same. It's the colors. So, <laughs> as a nature slime, since you are the first of your kind and you look so friendly as your natural self, you have your charisma goes up. I three. So I now have a 14 in charisma. All right. Ooh, yeah, He's a you slightly can now, cuter. You can now, as a bonus action, clone yourself into one additional individual. Ah, all right. Oh. This thing can also do exactly the same spells as you can. But you That's can control insane. it. Okay. Imagine we enlarge him. He does polymorph to T Rex. He doubles to T Rexes. Bro, I, I, I don't think like... it works like that whenever you're transformed, though. <laughs> However, as a nature slime, you are very vulnerable fire magic. Ah. That does suck, but still, that's like Simulacrum as a bonus action. That's insane. That, that's a good trade. Oh, double can, damage uh, yeah. on fire. Unfortunately with, uh, yeah, unfortunately, with clone, you can only make one right. So. Right now? Oh, so it can get better. Well, I believe it's more of a skill that can improve over time. And, yeah, as an ad and as an addition, your ability to create NPCs has been upgraded. Well, you can now create higher tier beings such as centaurs, lamias, other creatures of the forest. Uh, you can also create a dryad. You? Um, let's see here, spriggans. And one additional thing that comes from nature... That only comes from Yggdrasil, the game. You have the ability to create Frost Giant Ooh. as an NPC. So there is that. You will now no longer melt the ground whenever you pass. Oh, I can finally hold him and not burn. And since you have evolved, your hit point maximum goes up by 57. Whoa, what? Holy shit, he cracked. That, yeah, that's crazy. So I'm at 158 HP. Woo. 
Dear lord. Thank you, little nature boy. Got to raise up my hit points from the last time I fought. <laughs> also, one additional thing that you should keep track of yeah, yes. that I gave to Rozu. You now have access to one additional six level spell. Ooh. Yep. Now you still have one spell slot. Oh, no, you gave you me a seven. But you have access to spell. an additional spell. Yeah, but he's not quite at your. Oh, right. Godly okay. level. He's still he's still very much of this world. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, on uh, congratulations on Fritz on your evolution. Yay! Very you well done. Get done with Fritz. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, as she lets you go, and you you just all of a sudden you like uh, try to look at your hands. Your hands have gone from black to green, all sorts of green colors, and then all of a sudden. You just minding your own business. All of a sudden, you just see one of your fingers as you like try to like form fingers out of it. All of a sudden, one of your fingers sprouts a daisy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry to introduce. Um, intru can you let go? Intrude. Intrude. Thank you. Can you let go of that little dude over there? She's still glaring at me. Oh, you mean the artificial life form? Yeah. yeah. Well. I'm only going to do this because you happen to save my daughter. Snaps her fingers, and then she releases little Ruby, who very quickly hovers over to silence and hides behind her hat. Oh, I, I like lift up my hat so he can go inside. She hides underneath it. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'll, I'll keep him inside now. Um. Normally, I would destroy such a thing, but your friend Fritz decided to save my daughter from a very fat individual so thank you and you see a very timid little girl just peek her head round one of the trees very familiar little girl a little dryad i give she her notices home. she uh she runs away and tr goes to her mother there's no need to be scared sweetie now let's go to the temple and visit dad Okay? Mama! Mama! That very pretty lady with the white hair? She has powers of dad! No, sweetie, just let's go. Oh. Before I forget, exterminate each and every one of those intruders. Yes, ma'am. Do a salute. <laughs> she just, uh, you see the little girl just hop on her mother's back and just wave goodbye. Uh, slowly wave, and I'm like, mouthing, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> my name was Maria. You have a good memory. No, I have it written down. <laughs> I, I actually have a little thing. My compliment. Hey, I, I look at the people that I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember those Maria, Charles, and Friga. Let's get back uh, to Sith now before he wonder yeah, yeah, what's going on. Yeah, you do on. see. You do see evidence of torches, like spent torches were used to start this fire. By the way, they do they look human made or what? They look very crudely made. Okay. Not by humans, otherwise they would be a lot nicer. Yeah, that's all I had to ask. Yep. <laughs> Synth, this entire time, you are back in the village, just minding your own business, just, you know, wandering around, double-checking everything. You all see, right. the, see your friends come back, and a very large, unfamiliar slime... <laughs> It does look vaguely familiar, but he's the wrong damn color. Everywhere I go, plants grow. Uh, as he passes over, like, th the grass, you expect it to start melting. You no, know, you see, like, a line of, like, daisies and all sorts of nature, including weeds, just growing. Someone is busy, like, clipping the last bit of their lawn up, and he sees you pass over his lawn, and the lawn grows back, and he just... It's like, really? Nature cannot be contained. <laughs> I imagine when he first got this power and realized that nature could grow, he went zoom, zoom, zoom around the field a couple times. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably so. Um, by the way, you can't really control right now how nature grows on you. So currently you have a sapling growing out of your back. Eh, could be worse. So, uh, uh, to be fair, you'll need to spend at least two hours a day for at least three days in order to gain proper control over this power. Right now, I'm seeing this with wonder, so... <laughs> 
So, met my god's wife. Yeah. And child. Let's get ready okay. for this battle. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready for the battle. Woot. Woo. Yeah. All right. We're <sighs> oh, um, before we do go into the battle, as a disclaimer to all those who are currently watching out there, this might actually be a two-parter. Yeah, this battle probably. is going to be long. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, sweet balls of fire. All right. I am going to prep for this battle. I'm going to precast some spells. Okay. Uh, what, for example? I was thinking about casting Enhance Ability, but... Uh, right before the battle? Does it have a time limit? So I was going to cast it as soon as I maybe see the first enemy or on the field or something. Oh, but you do hear... Okay, uh, I'll start casting this on everybody in our group. But I want to try something different. Uh, I'll like to cast it at mid-tier level and see what it does to Synth. Synth? Uh-huh. Enhance ability. Uh-huh. On Synth. Yeah, at uh, mid-tier. I'm not even looking in your general direction. I'm, I'm minding my own business and you just do this randomly. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll come up later. Does anything look like a change? As far as you know, it doesn't look like any sort of change physically, but... Alright. You have no idea. i go to the next person, Hedrick. Hedrick. <sighs> and I'll do the same thing to the mid-tier. Oh, uh, it, I boost the ability score by two? Uh, maybe. Mid-tier makes it different, and I don't know why. Uh, okay, it's kind of worrying, but hit me. Do it. Give me the power. Oh, I do. I do. For now, just boost it for two until Bloody says something. <laughs> this does boost it above 20, right? You get not? to choose ability. You have actually, you have no idea what this does because you cast it at middle tier. Do I feel any different? You have no idea what it just did. I'm okay. keeping that to myself. And <laughs> I'm doing one last one. All right. To silence. As you hear. Same thing. <laughs> And all of a sudden you hear <laughs> You see a massive explosion happen really deep in the floor. What the heck? What Ooh. is that? And I get a perception check from everybody. Yep. Oh, I'm sure I'm gonna ace this one. Let's see. Doesn't this change their perception with the ability boost, maybe? Wow! Natural nineteen for Unix. Oh, <laughs> That's a horrible roll. And I'm still one of the lowest. <laughs> no, okay. I'm low. So, everyone but Rosu. I'm working on spells. <laughs> uh, sees uh, a very familiar robed individual flying through the sky, battling another individual. It's a very one-sided fight. <laughs> um, uh, I think there's some people, like, fl fighting? Flying? Uh, All of a sudden, you just see... <laughs> Another explosion, and one of the things rockets towards you. Uh, I need a synth to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, a ready. Ooh. 25. 25. You manage to get out of the way with little to no effort as something buries itself meteor style into the ground. Slightly worried. Whoa, what was and you that? You just see a. A smoldering corpse of what looks to be a spellcaster on the ground. Does it look um, a uh, They are wearing what? No, oh, actually, he looks human. He's wearing the robes of the um of the slain theocracy. Is he alive? Oh, oh he's very dead. Uh, okay. I point to the Can corpse I? and say, I'll talk to you later. The uh, corpse does not respond because it is a corpse. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, um, can I try and see the other figure? Whoever killed this slain theocracy nerd? You see I'm flying up Oh, there. okay. That explains everything. He told, he told you last time that he would take care of the spellcaster. Yeah, we thought it was goblins, not the other. And then you see him open up a gate and he goes through it. Oh, that... Okay. That was fast. Ah, day saved. Woo. Uh, okay, so 
Yeah, that that fight was going to end very fast anyway. Yeah. Slain Theocracy guy was a level 25, and Ainz is max level currently. Yeah, we're even higher than a 25 now, which I'm happy. Um, so, uh, as uh, you hear marching coming closer and closer, it seems that the enemies are near the wall. Is it nighttime? It is. The sun is setting. So how much light do we have? Not very much. <sighs> I have. A and clear. you see a very horrifying realization as a new moon is coming up. Wait. There is no evidence of uh, light shining down from a moon. I look to Fritz. You want me to give some light or are you? Uh, I can technically give some light, but if I do that, I'll probably have to cast it at a higher level or, you know, maximize it more too. You want to try it? It's your... I have it selected, but... You're wondering I have something called Sunbeam? Oh, no. I have Daylight. Oh, I have Sunbeam, which is just a beam of light, and it just repeats. Yes. Like, you just repeat as long as I concentrate for, like, a minute. Yeah. I remember, remember very well. Keep that and it's also you. sunlight. <laughs> uh, no. I'll turn to the field and do... Oh, I don't... How dark is it, and how big is the field? It's very dark, and... The field of battle seems to be very spread out. So, like a hundred feet or more? Like, clearly someone is giving these creatures orders so that they are well-spaced, <sighs> so that no spells would find them together. Okay, then I have to do the daylight spell at maximize magic. I hate this, but I have to do it. Okay. So and now I get to roll something. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Because you are not currently max level, so it is very taxing on you guys. Yep. Maximize anything. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Oof. Okay, so um, using maximize magic, it has eaten up all of your fourth and third level spell slots. Fourth gone. Third gone. Okay, but did it work? Yeah, it worked. Okay. Nice. <laughs> you see her jerk and pain. All right, we can see everything now. Oh, I'm tired. Thanks for the artificial um, uh As you look out on the field of battle, there's a lot more than there should be. What was reported? And I get a perception check. Woohoo! Not a disadvantage because we can now see. Ooh, not bad. Uh, I'm waiting on all of you. By the way. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm Who's next getting really another natural slay, 19. <laughs> then Rope can perception. I get a perception only? Perception only? Sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, everyone but silence. Uh, uh, you can pretty much see the entire thing of the field. Silence, you can see general, like, there's a lot of enemies. A lot, a lot of enemies. Uh oh. There's more than there's more uh, uh, than fifteen ogres now. There is now, from what you are counting, at least fifty. Yes, but with daylight, it should be harder on them. Do we? Do we have for the ogres? No. Yeah, for the ogres. For the cannibals? Yes. <laughs> should I be a dick? <coughs> Whatever lower of denial. Ogres don't have a sunlight sensitivity. Animal goblins do. Yeah, but still, that this helps a lot. So I have a question. Do you guys want me to slow down the uh, trolls? Trolls probably help. or ogres? Ogres, sorry. Uh, do you want me to slow down the ogres? That will probably help, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. All right. Wait, how far away are they from us? Oh, 150 feet. Okay. Okay. Exactly Where what I need them to be. <laughs> and I would like to cast this with middle tier. Magic? Interesting. Okay, well, at that point, I'll need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, snap. All right. I'm placing that on the ground in a big swath. You don't want to know why this was such a long day for me? I got up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I basically looked through everyone's spells and did mathematical equations to see the probability of everyone doing certain spells. Oh, oh my gosh. Did we surprise yeah, we you with open. some already? Okay, so I'm going to pull you guys over to the battle map. All right, let me uh, roll for our initiative, speaking of which. Yeah. Oh. How are we going to take down so many? 
Well, he still hasn't told me what enhance ability did with you guys yet, so... True. What's the worst that could happen? Well, okay, so put yourselves on the map right over here. Oh, my initiative, there we go. I'm going to edit your thing so that it actually is the initiative you rolled, so... Hey. Long story short, it doesn't matter how strong we are if we're outnumbered, especially by this much. Yeah. Have faith. And oh, they are supposed to be weak, so... Well, I mean, I'm go I'm probably about to hear, I'm a food! I'm a food! <laughs> In the next few minutes. <laughs> what do you? What? What? I don't know. Alma foot because spike growth. Oh. <laughs> that does a D four every time they take a step, and it's half. Okay, death. I need the rest of everyone's initiative, please. Oh, um, uh, mine is. Ten. No, no, I need you to re-roll it so you oh. appear on the initiative order. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Right, give me a second. I'm gonna get back to my character sheet. I'm tempted to turn off three D dice. <laughs> I'll edit it to fix it. There we go. There we go. Come on. <sighs> the open is clicked. All right. I hate and... you so much right now. Who? Who? My damn computer. Oh. oh. Is it true? Okay. This was fine. Yep. Hey, I rolled better than what I originally rolled. <laughs> In my second roll, I rolled better. I mean, my first roll, I rolled better than my second. Take this lump out of my head. I think that's everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Hello? Yeah. Okay, I was making sure that I was not like, you know. No. I think it's just night. Oh, bloody's having problems. Oh no. Give him a moment. Bloody, bloody's having problems. Oh no. Bloody's having problems. Oh no. Oh. Bloody? Hmm. Hello. Still having problems. Says he's mutant, uh, deafened. Yeah. So long. Farewell. Avita uh -oh. saying goodbye. Adu. Sent Adu. your message does not help me whatsoever. What do you mean? In which part? <laughs> the very first message. The, the the try not to die part. <laughs> yes. I don't I don't I don't understand. That sounds like a very soundproof plan to me. <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect plan. Well, me out here, I'm just like, yep, fight growth, middle tier, baby. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm glad we could do mid tier now without side effects. I can't wait to do maximize magic without side effects. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, but I was just like, let me do this before anything happens. Spike growth? Because it's normally like a 20-foot area. What happens if you cast it at middle tier? Mm. <laughs> I want to know what mid-magic enhance ability do to you guys. We're probably going to find out the second we attack something. Yeah. You think it'd be okay if I uh, ran and got more water really quick? Yeah, it looks I like I think you have still... enough time. Yeah. Okay. Need to wah -wah. Oh, yeah, I need to start flying. Oh. That's the biggest advantage you have. Downside is, I cannot cast magic if I fly, because I would have to be turned into a bird. <laughs> I think Hildrick needs to be turned into a large boy. I already am a large boy. No, you need to make you larger boy. On the you need square. to make him huge. You need to make him huge. The biggest boy. On the square, you need to be larger. The truest oh, of lads. you're right. I'm, I'm medium-sized right now. <laughs> yeah. Become swole boy. Oh, he's having so much problems. Oh, uh, no. He's going to be so hey. upset. My game plan, I'm going to tackle the nearest ogre, and then I'm going to get stabbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, if you're huge, you would actually be considered a size category larger than them. Yeah, I would. I, I could already toss them around, but if I were that large, then, well... We need to make him huge! Are we making him huge, or you're huge? I mean, you large. I would rather him be huge. <laughs> okay. What I really like is the advantage to strength checks, because then they'll never escape my grapples. Oh, is he back? I feel like that's gonna jinx you later. Maybe it will. No, oh, he's not speaking. Oh, yeah. Daddy? Oh no. Daddy. I, I have to roll like a nat one to like fail an athletics check. I bet you his oh, damn. UP, the cord or whatever is messing with his laptop again. Oh, maybe. He needs a new Probably laptop. Probably the port might have finally fucked up. Maybe the port fucked up. Yeah. Probably what happened. That's what I'm thinking. This is that giving me a lot of port that. Yeah. This is giving me plenty of time to pray and find good music for my death to be at. Praying I mean, to every god I know. He's so you're praying to the nature god? To... All of them. Hopefully one of them will take us. Maybe my enhanced ability will be so strong I can grapple the planet and I just toss into the sun. I think oh, that kills die too. From that. Now, we would all die from that. But um, at, least, at least the ogres are dead. Yeah. That's true. We gotta think 
um, what are they called? Mystically. Uh huh. Maybe I could like use one of these trees as a weapon if I try hard enough. I don't can think you, that's actually more effective. Than can I think you about do it. improvise weapons? Yeah, impro I have proficiency of improvised. Then, weapons. Yeah, you probably could. It look really cool. Like before you die, it just looks really <laughs> nice. To yeah. Tree. You now it, have tree cloud. Scared. Like oh. if so, if a dude walks up and picks up a tree and just, like beats yep. it over to death, he will get scared. Yep. He's yeah, super pretty bad. Angry. Uh. Could you wait? Okay, if I cast like fly on you, could I like get on your shoulders and we could go in the air and they could drop rocks on people? Yo, even better, I could pick up an ogre and drop them from a couple thousand feet up. Holy shit! Genius. <laughs> Biggest dick move. New plan, but guys. that's the main thing I grab on the whole way there, though. Only yeah, outside. It, would, it would take forever, but I can move them without a penalty to my uh, movement speed. It'd still take yeah, forever. But it'd be really cool. <laughs> And also, I think that fall damage like caps it. What was it? Two hundred feet or something? Which is stupid. Oh, yeah, I think it's like two hundred feet cap. Oh, oh, we can Swear we can hear God. you now. You hey, we post. hear you. Stop working. Your port. Good. No Discord. Oh, the truest enemy, God of Chaos. Decided K to be an ass. Ow. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Annoyance aside. Let's get this party started, shall we? Uh, can you um make my token big, please? Yay! Thank you. All right, synth, you're first up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and activate uh what's it called? Both of my arms of the astral self and the uh, visage. Uh, I'm gonna activate my arms of the astral self and my visage, and uh, okay, and that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Next up. Um. One, two. Three, four, okay. First off, Hildrick. Okay, sick. Uh, no. You're getting attacked. Hildrick. I'm getting take, attacked. Yep. Take, yep, take a total of 27 points of bludgeoning damage as you are pelted with rocks. I, I just take the damage? Giant no. boulders. Oh. Well, again, I, I have pre-rolled these. He he checked your AC a long time ago. Ouch. Okay. Some of them fall a little bit short, but five of them do find purchase upon your person. The fuck and is then it? I didn't say synth. No, no I was I saying said that for, I was asking Hildrick. Would don't Sorry. you have the fuck missile? No, I'm not a monk. Oh, okay. Close though. He's a fighter. Close too, but not quite. Oh, barbarian? He's a pugilist. I have no idea what that is. I punch things. He likes fisting things. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, synth, yes. uh, quite a few arrows come your direction. Six yeah. to be, in fact. Yeah. Does any of them look like they're gonna hit? Oh, yeah, definitely. Then I'll, <laughs> I'll deflect missile one of them, I guess. Okay, I need you to make that check. Nice. 28. Uh, you're able to catch it in your hand. You now have a very crude arrow. Uh, it has a tip of a very crudely, like, chipped tone, uh, a stone, and clearly a non-carved twig, and what looks to be, like, just feathers tied to the end. Uh, I won't bother. I'm not going to throw it back. I'm just going to drop it. Uh, you do, however, take uh, 10 points of piercing damage from the rest. All right. Ouch. Okay. Next, Rozu, uh, you take... Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, you take 25 points of bludgeoning damage as rocks find purchase upon your person. Oh, does this activate that one ability now? The holy You have adventure. to be more specific. You got a lot. Let me read it for a second. This is said um, during combat when it activates, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you do activate it. I'm sorry, uh, silence. This uh this is self-defense. It automatically activates, so... Uh, uh silence as, uh, so at the start of your turn, you'll take, uh, 2d8 radiant damage. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thanks, Rozu. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of silence... There. Hello. You take... You take 15 points of piercing damage as a couple of arrows meet your person. And Fritz, you only take 7 okay. points of bludgeoning damage as only one of the boulders actually hits you. Okay. Okay, so uh, next is Hildrick. Okay, this sucks. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't say uh, it was going to be easy. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, okay. Well, if I die, I know that, that there's someone in the village who can take my place as the biggest boy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make my Fogu. movement. Yes, Fergu, the unstoppable. Uh, I guess I'm moving towards this ogre here, and I'm going to use my bonus action to grapple him using quick pin. Not quick pin to the mat, sorry. That consumes a moxie point. And I'm going to have to roll an athletics check versus his athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Uh, uh, just to be fair, I will make any like checks they have to make public. Okay. So you say athletics. Mm -hmm. So that's a athletics strength or check. Okay, sick. Uh, he's grappled and knocked prone. And I'm going to use my action to throw two haymakers at him, which will be made normally because they'd be at disadvantage, but he's prone, so bounces out. Oof. Um, 17. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. I was paying attention to something else. What? He's grappled and prone, and I'm making two attacks against him, which are haymakers. 17? That definitely hits. Okay. He takes a flat 15 damage. Uh, 23. That okay. Hits another 15, so 30 bludgeoning damage. Does enhance ability Three help? Okay. Any of this? Uh, as you strike towards him, all of a sudden, one strike, pfft, there's no head. Dear lord, my god. Uh, okay. Uh, I did it, guys. I think I figured out what enhanced ability did. Woo! Okay, do I still As the ogre up? is lying in a bloody pulp, you look up and they're like, oh, fuck! Oh, another, another one, one appears. <laughs> Uh, Just to be okay. fair, I'm going to put all the dead ones over here. All the dead ones are going to be over here in this corner. Okay. Uh, with my <laughs> with my remaining attack, could I make an improvised weapon attack using this corpse? Oh, uh, you can try. I want to pick it up and throw it at one of the other ogres. It says, why not? I don't know. I, I didn't uh, okay. intend for it to die that quickly. Uh, I guess I'll throw it at the one that just appeared. Give me a strength check. This is why I was like, yet. what does and I'll the... Make it. Dex That's a save. My bad. My bad. Uh, yeah, uh, I need to make a dexterity saving throw for it, which ogres are not very dexterous. Nope. Uh, it proceeds to fall prone with its ally currently pinning it down. Okay. Um, is that all for your... Uh, what else for your turn? That's it. I'm about to die now. Die gloriously. Okay. Keep battle. Uh, next is another volley from the enemy uh, army. Uh, fortunately for you guys, they rolled extremely low, and nothing finds purchase on any of you. Oh, I forgot to do something last round when I got hit. My bad. Was it you make Campbell? Oh, it's a concentration. Uh, I I had so so. Um, just to be fair. Uh, 15 of these rolls were natural Ooh. ones, so that will come Ooh. in play later. Ooh. Was it concentration? Silence, your turn. Okie dokie, I'd like to start off asking, can I, can I duck behind this tree that I'm standing next to? Can I, would I be able to stand behind you, it? You take three radiant damage, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, I'd and like if to you second stay my in turn. The bubble, if you stay in the bubble, if you end the bubble in in the turn okay. in her bubble, you will take damage as well. Okay. Just as a form. Oh, my food How areas. big is the bubble? It should be evident on your on your screen right now. Wait, it says even if the creature sorry. is friendly or not, they must make a con save of fourteen to see um if it still affects them. Oh yeah, make a constitution saving throw. Fritz, you're outside of the bubble. You that was for anything. my uh Okay, uh, good. The con con <sighs> save was for okay. something. I was maintaining a spell. Oh yeah. Okay. You're good. Uh, okay. Okay, so, um, could, uh, <laughs> could I go to a different tree and hide then? Um, like, this one maybe? I mean, you can pass by this tree because okay. it's very small. Mm -hmm. Can I, like, climb in it? Uh, it is very small. Okay. You would probably break the poor thing. Okay, it's then a I, sapling I won't. At most. Okay. This one you would be able to, but that's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Rozu. Daggers in my eyes, because what the fuck? And then I'm gonna move to the other tree. <laughs> All you see her is glowing. And she's a little freaked out. Okay, cool. Anyone anyone else want to envision, like, the theme for the mother from Kill a Kill? Just... <laughs> oh, fuck. Just... I forgot. 
Range is a thing. I <laughs> move back over quickly. I look at Fritz and ask, are you ready to be big? I like them big. Okay. <laughs> Fritz, I like them chunky. I Sorry, I was yes. a... Right. Okay. Are you ready? He's ready to be big. Yes. Too late. He's already He's ready. ready. He's already ready. Okay. And I'm going to cast a large reduce. I'm going to make him big. Wait, can you do large and okay, reduce uh, mid-tier? Just... I, I think I could do it mid-tier. Would that make him bigger? Okay. Uh, Why not? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, since you're deciding on it, I have to roll this publicly. Okay. Cool beans. So are you doing mid-tier? Sure. Why not? Oh. <laughs> Fritz. Yes? Constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. <laughs> Con save? Okay. Yep. I gotta uh -oh. see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. That's a six. Uh, hey. You do not lose concentration on your spell, but this does happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dear lord. Yes. And then I look at him and I say, no. And he gets um, bardic inspiration. What? Okay. Uh, I took a level of bardic. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, next volley. Uh, since you decided on that, I believe this actually fucking happened. Um, <laughs> I was not planning on this. Um, so. So we're ranching so the DMs plans. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, Fritz, you take another, uh, 12 points bludgeoning damage. Okay. Then you take, uh, 11 points piercing damage. Right. Rozu. You take 25 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, they hate me. No, they want, uh, a few of them got a critical. Oh. Uh, synth, uh, not synth, but uh, uh, silence. Uh, you take uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Owie. And Hildrick, you take uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm. Oh, no. That's a natural one. Oh, no. Yeah, but that was all... Uh, that was maintaining a spell, so I just lose the spell. Yep, I'm just curious. So there's no more spikes happening. off in the distance somewhere, <laughs> doing damage. Uh, so what what spell were you prepping? May I ask? I wasn't prepping. It was already cast. Uh, it was spike growth. Uh, all of a sudden, just a, just a random spike about a little bit way far away from the battle. Like just all of a sudden, you just hear a poor deer just freak the fuck out, just Rawr! as a, a spike just goes out of the ground. Oh. Oops. Oh well. Sorry! Mishap with magic! <laughs> okay, uh, Rosu, it's it's your turn. Uh, okay. It just gives me room to on something else. With, with my bonus action, I like to change my aura into a healing aura. Okie dokie. So, no more damage. Uh, let's see. Sorry, new ability. Need to read. New ability, who dis? that. I'm um, going to cool point thing. to Hildrick, and he's going to get immunity to radiant and por uh, po poison damage. Yes. <laughs> porn damage. No, poison. No. He poison. gets immunity to porn damage. No poison. <laughs> I know you corrected yourself, but I, uh, I heard mm. the mistake. <laughs> okay, I can't use that this round. I don't have many spell slots. Boy, you need to bless the majority of guys with that kind of fucking immunity, let me tell you. <laughs> and... Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm I'm hurt. Yeah, I know some of us are hurt. Let's see. Hurt isn't putting it right. I give myself <laughs> rounds. Okay. Yeah, everything hurts. I'm going to move behind Sip. <laughs> By the way, uh, silence. I would like to say something before we continue on. You've been forgetting to do something, and I need you to correct it really quickly. Oh, sorry. Your your level is only level nine. You should be level thirteen. Why am I level nine? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, thank you. I just see that. I just see that, and oh, I mean, because she was been looking meaning to myself. correct you on that. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why it was nine. That's weird. Thank you. You probably just forgot to change it. No nope. probably. No problem. I just wanted to really quickly correct you so that way you're not you're not mistaken on that part. So <laughs> thank you. No problem. I am casting mass cure um cure wounds at seventh le level 
on everybody. Nice. So everybody heals for 21. Even you, Hildrick, because like, you're immune to radiant damage now. Sick. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Oh, that's okay. clever. Um, plus, the people who's in my aura heal for 10 more. My god. In your aura? Uh-huh, just in my aura, because I change it from damage to healing. Bloody. Uh, how big is your no, aura? Who is? Do I heal, or is it just other people? Oh, you can heal too. Yes. Okay. That helps. Okay, and that ends my turn, and I will yell out, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Silence, I hurt you. Who's within the aura at the moment? I guess. Um, As you do this. The yellow this. order, um, aura around me, so it'd be Fritz and synth right now okay as you i do was this, full from the first all, bit healing as you do this all the enemies that notice this now concentrate all their fire on you that's why i'm behind hiding behind synth <laughs> so since you're, you're synth, hiding just... behind synth synth you are going to take the majority of this damage <laughs> damn it <laughs> Sorry. All right. Which they the big guy. Insanely good for this for this one. Oh god. So I'm very happy about this one. Sorry, but yeah. So you take 52 points of oh, piercing god. and bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Oh yeah, quite a few of them got nat 20s. <laughs> it was not fun. Jesus, and these are all like arrows and shit. <laughs> Yep, these are all very shitty arrows and just rocks. God damn it. <laughs> That's not... All right, okay. Most of them are doing like two, four damage. It's just a lot of them are just hitting you. <laughs> all right, I'm a little scared now. Very scared. Uh, Fritz, your turn. You just see, you just see poor Synth get pelted. I, I even go, poor Synth, jeez. So how far away are those guys that are just hucking stuff at him? Uh, uh, the, the, um, the goblins? Yeah. You can't really see them. They keep on using their bonus action to hide. Also, don't forget there's still sunlight in the air, too. So they do have disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm using that, but they, they, some of them still do hit. Oh. <laughs> I would like to do a perception check. Yeah, Synth. <laughs> Pretty much. Poor Synth. <laughs> okay, perception check. Uh, this is in the middle of battle, so... Be warned, you might just do it normally, like no advantage or disadvantage. I'm just going to say, like, you will only be able to see a limited amount. Yeah, but a limited amount is all I need to see. Mm. Uh, you do see a couple of the of the goblins. They are staying in the trees. Oh, they're hiding in the trees still? Yep. Hmm. Well, then, how far away can this go? Uh, and Fritz, you do notice that some uh, uh some goblins have gotten to uh well actually since he's still over here um you do see and Heldrick you do also see that some goblins have gotten to the corpse and have started eating. Uh oh. Oh, if I see them at the corpse, I'm gonna aim for those. Are you moving closer to them? Uh yeah, I'll move a little bit closer. I need to be within sixty feet. Well, you're and I'm not sure. you're you are right there. within sixty feet. All right, I'm casting Sunbeam. Oh, okay. Good thing. Definitely. Good thing. Oof. Are you casting higher tier or? Uh, it'll be a normal for now. Constitution save. Um, am I within the Sunbeam? Don't worry. I mean, I'm immune to radiant damage, but yep. I'd stop the wall for reasons. I was gonna move so I wouldn't hit him. I'm not that big of a dick. Okay, so uh, let's see here, nineteen. That's why I said I was moving earlier. If there was somebody in my way. Mr. Fluffy, or Fritz, yep. shall I say, you managed to off 57 of the cannibal goblins and two of the ogres. Nice. Uh, one of the ogres, who was on his last leg right in front of uh, Hildrick, who was being eaten on by the cannibal goblins, just gets blasted away. And there are no more goblins or ogre standing there. There's just like... Like, what you can see is just the stubs of feet just, oh, just still standing there. I forgot about the enhanced ability. That might help. Okay, at the start of the round, uh, before Synth goes, I need to take care of the natural ones that they fucking rolled. Oh. For all the times that they rolled them. As um, from the opposite, uh, like, left-hand side of the uh, battlefield... 
you see a giant, huge ball of fire. Uh, Rosu, this ball of fire is not fire damage. It is radiant damage. There is intense aura of holy magic coming from that direction. This is not coming from Mother Nature either. I this is coming from an unfamiliar <laughs> force. This is not this is coming from not a familiar source. And you just see a giant ball of radiance just bury itself into the earth and kill. Wait, do I know that hundreds. spell? Is that spell This Unchained spell is ben? unfamiliar. Ah. Okay. This this spell is unfamiliar to you. Dang. You see hundreds of goblins and at least 20 of the ogres fall dead. Was it There's me? just a crater. And as as um since the person that did this spell rolled a natural 20 which equals 27 on the leaderboard, he gets to go first. You see an individual walk into the sunlight. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. What? We don't get to see said person? Ooh, mama. Oh, sure, why not? Uh, the individual looks very tiny, very scrawny. But as he walks into the sunlight, you see he starts to grow in size and bulk. And you see a title above his head, all of you, that says Pride. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's where we're going to end it. This is a breathtaking